Hello friends, my name is Runai, and today we are doing a tutorial. Someone asked me to do a tutorial on how to do Mod the Spire, and here we are. Uh, just so you guys know, this is the old way to do Mod the Spire. The Slay the Spire uh, developers have actually added Mod the Spire to the game. However, I am unsure at the moment of how to actually do that. So once I learn how to do it, then we'll do a tutorial for that. But for now, here is how you do Mod the Spire the way that we used to do it. So first thing you want to do is you want to have this page open right here. This GitHub Mod the Spire um, blah, 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 blah. I'll have the link in the description. Don't worry. And it's going to be this page right here. And you're going to scroll down and where it says Mod the Spire and installation. And you're going to go to download latest release. And wait for a second for it to load. And your release is probably going to be a different number than mine. But this, whatever is at the top, is going to be the latest release of Mod the Spire. So there's two things that you want from here. Um, if uh, This is for Windows, just so you guys know. You're going to want to get this right here, the source code, and you just click on it to download it. And then you want to get this right here is the zip. And you want both of those down here. And my McAfee is going to scan that, and I'm going to tell it that it's fine. Go away. So now you've got these two here. You've got the release, and then you've got the actual source code. Um, then we're going to go to show in folder. And it's going to be right there. And we have to go here to our operating system. If you go here on the left, there is a lot of different options. Now, to do this, you have to have Slay the Spire. If you do not own Slay the Spire, this is not going to work. I don't know what to tell you. You have to have the game. Um, so you're going to go down here to your operating system. And you're going to go to uh, Program Files 86. And you're going to scroll down until you get to Steam right here. And then you're going to go to, where is it? Steam Apps, right here. And then you're going to go to Common. And then you're going to look for Slay the Spire, which is right here. And as you can see, I've already got Mod the Spire, but I'm not updated to the latest one anyways, so it'll be fine. Uh, now we're going to move this, and we still have this window open right here. So you should have this in a separate window than this. If not, you could just go back down here and go to Show in Folder again. It's fine. So you should have both of these open. And we're going to take this right here, and let me do this real quick, and this right here. So hold down your Control button, and click on that, and make sure this one's clicked too. They should both be outlined in blue. And you're going to right click, cut, go over here, right click, paste. And see, uh, since I already have it, it's going to tell me that I have files here. That's fine. I'm just going to replace them. So now I have both of these here. As you can see, I'm going to right click. And I've got 7-zip. Um, a lot of people will tell you WinRAR. I recommend 7-Zip because it's actually free, and it's not going to freak out at me every time I use it. So get 7-Zip. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to 7-Zip down in the description as well so you guys can have that. It is actually free. It's not like WinRAR where, where it's only free for a little bit. So you're going to go to Extract here. And it's going to be like, hey, do you want to replace these files? And I'm going to be like, yeah, do that. So now I've got all that up here. And now you're going to want to right click and new folder. And you're going to want to name it mods. Just like that. I've already got one right here, so I don't need this one. So I'm actually going to, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to get rid of that folder since I don't need it. So you're going to go to your mods folder. And this is where all of your mods are going to be. Now, we go to this page over here. Um, I'll have the link in the description. You're going to go to base mod. You're going to click on base mod. You have to have base mod to run all of your mods. I don't care what mod you have. You have to have base mod. So, 
whatever the latest release is, is going to be up here. Um, you're going to want to download both the source code and the base mod dart jar, just like we did before. So left click on that one, and then left click on that one. And it's going to tell me that this type of file can harm my computer. Um, this Slay the Spire site is a trusted website. There shouldn't be any viruses that are going to harm your computer. So I'm going to push keep. And then we're going to show in folder. And there's that one. And show in folder. There's that one. So we have both of those here. And just like we did before, we're going to click on this one. So click on this one. And then control, click on this one. So we're going to right click and cut. Then we're going to go over here. This is your mods folder. This is what you had open before. So we're going to right click and paste in your mods, mods folder. I'm going to replace because I already have it. And then this one and this one, the, even though this is a jar file, we're still going to 7-zip extract both. So extract here. And I'm going to press yes to all because I already have it. And that's going to do a bunch of stuff. And it's going to be like, hey, you can play Mod Aspire now. Now we get to get the mods. So we go back to this page, the first page that I showed you that was with the mods on it. And they have this huge list of mods here. So I'm going to grab something that I don't have yet. Um, let's grab... This one looks interesting, the clockwork. So we're going to grab this clockwork one right here. And we're going to download both of these, just like we did before. It's going to freak out and be like, hey, this might harm your computer. And I'm going to be like, no, it won't. That's fine. Show in folder. I said show in folder. Thank you. So now I've got both of these right here. Clockwork mod, clockwork mod. And go back to your mods folder, which you should still have open. And see, we got the Slay the Spire. Then we got the actual mods folder. Well, so we have that open. And then we're going to left click this. Control. Oh, God. No, that's not what I wanted at all. Go back. Sorry. So we're going to left click this. And control, left click that. Right click. Cut. Right click. Paste. And it should have both of them highlighted since you just put them here. You're going to right click, 7 zip, extract here. Both of them. Just all. All right. Now to actually play Mod the Spire, we're going to play it with the new mod, the Clockwork mod that we just got. So, first thing you want to do is go back here to Slay the Spire. And there's going to be a button down here executable jar file. Do you see that right there? Mod the Spire. You want to right click and right click it so it'll highlight blue create shortcut or right click cut minimize all of this hello me and see how i already have it right here i'm going to delete that because that's the old one every time you download a new mod the spire release um it doesn't matter what what is this why are you here that's weird oh that's my steam uh, Any time you download a new Mod the Spire release, you have to replace the shortcut. Otherwise, it will not work anymore if you try and open it from your shortcut. So we're going to right-click and paste our shortcut there. That's our new one. That's our new release. Now, here's the important part. You have to have... Oh, go away, updater. You have to have Steam open. You don't have to have this open. You can close that. But down here in your hotbar, Steam has to be active for you to play Mod the Spire because it has to be able to get to the files that actually have Slay the Spire in it. So I'm going to double-click this. <coughs> and we're going to wait for a second. And I have a lot of stuff that the mods are missing or they have a bad number or blah, 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 blah. <coughs> I'm going to hit OK on all of those because it'll tell me every time. Now, they're gonna. anytime you open this, you're going to want to press this button right here. It's the refresh button. It'll check for all the latest releases of my mods. And see, um, it gets this little caution symbol. And hey, all of these have updates available. 
Uh, if you guys get Black Mod, which is... Uh, I don't remember what Black Mod is. Uh, Black Mod, and there's a couple of others, mostly just Black Mod, that whenever you download the updates, they don't quite restart the right way. So I'm going to download updates and restart Mod the Spire. This will take a couple minutes, so I'll probably cut this out of the video. We'll, we're going to sit here and wait. <sighs> okay, so now we've got this back open. That didn't take very long, so maybe I won't cut it out. Um, I'm going to hit OK on all of these again. Blah, blah, blah. So these are all the ones that you're going to want to play. I'm going to go ahead and just deselect all of these so you guys can see. Okay, so whenever they light up, light up yellow, it means that you do not have something that you have to have to play it. You have to have base mod clicked to check literally any MLP. You cannot play without base mod. You have to have base mod. It li it's literally what runs all of them. So you see how this lights up yellow when I unclick base mod? It means that this doesn't have something it needs to run. So I'm going to play with base mod because I have to have it. I'm going to play with colored map, which you could download just the way I showed you before. And we're going to play with our new one, the Clockwork Mod. So apparently I'm missing something to play this one. I don't know what it is, but I'm missing something. Um, which you should be able to if we go back down to here. See, this is a Clockwork Mod. Um, let's see. Hmm. It doesn't tell me here what I need to play it with. Let's go back. Not the clockwork. Uh, let's see. It's not completed. That's probably what it's telling me is it's just not completed. <laughs> because it's not telling me something I have to play it with. Because a lot of them will tell me, like, hey, you have to have this to play the mod. So this isn't telling me. So it's probably just saying that the mod isn't completed yet and it's likely to crash. So I'm going to play with the clockwork mod. I'm going to play with colored map and base mod. We're going to go ahead and grab these custom cards and replay the Spire and Hubris because they're amazing. As well as Shops Mods, Bikes Relics, STS Library. Oh, that's what it is. See how STS Library makes them light up? So, apparently this, to play, you have to have STS Library. So, you just have to tinker around with it a bit and see which ones. So, I'm going to go down here to press play. And it's going to open this. And you're going to wait. It's going to take absolutely forever. And don't forget, you have to have Steam la launched on your computer. You can't play it without the Steam launched on your computer. So as you can see, while this is patching, down here, I still have Steam open. If I were to exit this, then this would not work at all. It'll, it'll tell you that it's just not working. It'll be like, hey, we can't find this file. We can't find that file. We can't blah, 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 blah. And that's because Steam is not open for it to be able to access the actual Slay the Spire. So we're going to wait. And this takes a minute. And as you can see, this is patching and patching and overriding and patching. And this is all the mods that I currently have open. And now we're going to wait. <clears throat> and it should open like this. Come on. It takes a minute to start up. Can you guys even see that where my face is? Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh oh. Where did it go? Did it close? What happened? Did it crash? Hello? Did I break you? It looks like it crashed. I'm not really sure why. Bad logic. Caused by field error. Okay. So apparently my clockwork mod actually crashed it. So we're going to get rid of the clockwork mod. There you go. All right, so Clockwork Mod's gone now. Let's hit play. <sighs> nice day. Mm. Slither a bride. All right, starting up again. Let's see if it'll work. 
Mm. There are many, 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 many reasons this thing can crash. Be it the uh, things itself aren't fully flushed out. Be it, see, it crashed again. I'm not really sure why. Let's figure this out together. So, in our base mod. Wait, is that the new base mod? No, base mod is in here. It should be here. Let's delete that. Hmm. Let's see. If we move this, cut, display this fire, paste. Let's try that now. Okay, so this is what happens if you don't have Steam open. It gives you a bad logic. So we're going to close that. Apparently my colored map is having issues too. <coughs> don't know what's up with that. Could be that it needs to be updated again. Let's check. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so I've got Steam back open now. So let's actually close that and reopen it. <coughs> I haven't played Mod the Spire in like a month, so stuff may have changed. What are you saying? Editing keywords, card image load time. Hmm. Apparently there's a lot of stuff that's going wrong. Interesting. Okay. Let's try one more thing. I'm gonna get rid of everything but base mod to see if it'll launch. If not, well, this isn't going up. Okay, so this time it launched, so it looks like one of my mods actually has an error in it. I wonder if it's my colored map. So, as you can see, it launched, and down here we've got mod base mod. So I'm going to quit, and we're going to try playing without the colored map. So it looks like my colored map actually has an issue that I can't play with. So let's do clockwork mod, um, STS library... And we'll just go with that. <coughs> okay, it seems to open again. So it looks like it's just my colored map that's currently having issues. Um, sorry for all the nonsense. <coughs> So, see you've got STS library and clockwork mod down here. If we go to play, we've got the clockwork right there. So, yeah, I could play right now if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm going to play around with my mods and see which ones don't currently work. 
So apparently there are some mods that currently are having issues, such as my colored map, which I'm very sad about. Um, also, in this folder right here, see how we have the base mod on the outside? It was in here, but it actually goes out here. So, <clears throat> I, I was wrong. I was wrong. This is supposed to be here. It does not go in the mods folder. I'm sorry, I was wrong. But yeah, um, but I'm actually going to leave all the issues I have in this video. That way you guys can see what the problems were I had and how I fixed it. And if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Um, I actually am really bad at explaining things, so I hope that I made this decently clear. I'm going to try and edit this video down a bit with all the wait time. So yeah, um, if... I, I hope I made sense. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet's setting out. Bye.